Hello. This is a Japanese style toolbox. I have another video showing my latest portable toolbox for my finished stuff, what I call my finished kit, where I need tools that I would normally use in the shop, but I'm out on a, jo on a job and need a bunch of finished tools. And that's my latest box, but I thought I'd show you a box I've used for years, which was my interpretation of a Japanese-style carpenter's box. And it's pretty simple. It's all solid pine, but a pretty darn simple design. It has the wedged top that you pound the wedge in. You can push the wedge out actually quite tight and uh, you almost have to pound it out. I'll get a hammer here. And most of the time I don't push it in that tight. Toward uh, warm weather it, it, it can get quite tight. And uh, so I usually don't, I don't usually set it that tight. Anyway, um, you then pull this in that has a space, extra space there. You pull that in, then that lifts out. So it's, it's an age-old design and it's actually ingenious. I have removed a lot of the tools from this because they're in my other box or elsewhere in my shop. So there's still quite a bit in here, but this sucker held a ton of tools. I, I just couldn't believe the stuff I could keep cramming into this box. And then I had a separate little box um, for chisels that I kept in here and some other hand tools. I had marking knives, utility knives, stair gauges, a flexible ruler, I had stropping compound, I had dovetail gauges, I had pencils, I had a lot of crap just in this box, but I had a set of chisels in there. Then I had anything you can think of. I had two block planes, a number four smoothing plane, I had um, combination square, uh, two Japanese hand saws, I had a back saw, I had a bit brace with with uh, auger bits, I had pencils and pens, I had auger bits, uh, screwdriver bits for the bit brace, because uh, I chuck screwdriver bits a lot of times into them. I had some padding material, this is shelf liner, I had just on and on. I had rulers, other squares, T bubbles, mortise and marking gauge, a cheap chisel hammer, and two or three tape measures, um, a ratcheting screwdriver. This is a really old one. Um, this is a really old uh, Klein. Stanley probably made it, but it was an old Klein Yankee style screwdriver that I used to carry and on and on and on. I had so much stuff in here and it's just incredible what this box, a simple rectangular box, it's incredible what it would hold. Uh, I'll give you the dimensions. I used construction grade uh, number two pine lumber and um, let me grab a tape measure and I will show you get my stick rule here. Probably had a tape measure in there. I did. Um, the interior dimensions ended up 13 and 5 eighths. Um, I used 1 by 8 for the sides and with some planing and such I lost a little bit. I have a 3 quarter bottom slipped in between that is actually glued down the sides. It's flush. It's actually up in the bottom. It's glued and then I tack nails here. These are just dowel joints. 
on the ends and then you put a handhold here that's all glued these are doweled there's screws here this dowel joint that's actually a little dado right there on both ends so it, it's tremendously resistant to racking this way the bottom's glued in and then the tops you know pinned across and uh, these hang out just because of this piece so it, it's just a rectangle it's just a box a uh, simple rectangular box but the, it, it's just incredible the amount of stuff that this will hold and uh, I'll see if I can push this back together um, I didn't even take everything out of it to incorporate into my new box and, and the irony is I think my new box has everything I need and yet I don't know does it um, some of it I've replaced some stuff too with some newer tools so we'll see but my new box, come to think of it, doesn't have a uh, bit brace and bit auger bits and a bit brace in there because they're still in here. So um, I don't have, evidently, everything in the new box that I had in the old box. N not, not that I couldn't fit it in there. So anyway, that drops in like that. This pulls this way, and then you can just hand tighten and tighten the wedge. There is a good way and a bad way to do it, but um, you know, just a, a tap like this, and now this will not come loose. There's no hardware in the thing. In fact, you've you've seen that to get that out of there, I I have to actually have two hands and give it a give it a good bump, or hit it with a hammer to to get it out. So it's just a really good system and that is the uh, age-old Japanese design I don't know how far back it goes probably at least 500 years maybe a thousand years theirs were nailed together and the really old ones were bamboo bamboo nails so um, and I don't know what kind of I have no idea what kind of woods they used. I'm sure it was something light but strong. And that's what pine does. It gives you a good strength to weight ratio. So, because uh, these boxes get heavy. When you, anything you would put tools in is going to get heavy. And these boxes get heavy. But you lift it with two hands. And it looks awkward, but it's not that bad. You just pick it up. I used to have a little mini hand truck in my, in my truck. The little fold up dollies. And you can put it on that. So there's a lot of ways you could have this on wheels. You could put casters on it if you wanted and just push it around, pull it with a rope. But uh, I just carried it and it was a good system. And it's a fun box to build. I did it in clear pine, clear finish. And it really aged in the in the UV light that you would get into a truck or you know, out in use. So it's quite yellow after only uh, several years. But I used this for a long time. I'm trying the other box now, but um, this was a good system. I may, you may find that you like it, and you may hear of me going back to it. So we'll see. Thanks for watching.